Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers with Quality Crafts. And today what we're gonna do is something really cool because the, the painting, the rock painting, the rock coloring trend is like coming back full force. You know, way back when we were little, we used to color or paint rocks and who knew it's just coming back and everyone thinks it's so cool. And there are really, really neat techniques. So I want to thank in advance Cher Brown for sharing this technique with me. I picked out some rocks from outside my front door. And um, they're not super big or super flat. But I think these two have the smoothest surface. So I'm going to go with those. These two have a little bit more of a bumpy surface. So I'm going to move them aside. And the first thing I'm going to do is color these, well, paint these essentially in an apple barrel white paint. It's 20503E. And you can get this at, um, Walmart has these paints for like 58 cents or something like that. And um, you can also get them at like Joann's and Michael's and stuff. So for the technique that we're going to do today, we need to have white behind um, the image because it's going to be on like, what did she say? She used a napkin I believe but what I'm gonna try to do is and I've got way too much paint I'm gonna try to put some back in there um, I'm gonna try to use what do you call it a, a pe tissue paper you know like what you do what you put you know, for gifts and stuff like that so I'm, ugh, guess you don't need as much paint as I had on here um, just gonna paint this whole thing So weird because I can hear all my neighbors being out here in the dining room. I mean the art studio. <laughs> oh gosh, I know most of you guys would not will not um, be angry at me if I called this my art studio, right? I can call it that. And I'm hoping that this dries really fast because I should have probably done the other side. <clears throat> I just I have no patience, so. I'm painting the whole thing and then I'm just gonna acrylic paints tend to dry really fast like I could have done this in fast forward but I thought hey why not we'll just see how this goes paint this side we're gonna it's gonna leave a little paint on my mat but I'm okay with that so when this completely dries I'll go over it with another coat um, I'll make sure that I buff out paint out um, my fingerprint on the other side but I probably only have one um, image on either side of the rock so maybe I'll just paint one side of this one I know some of you guys are just like me where you're just like okay we need we need a quick craft we don't want to have to spend hours and hours on this So let's go ahead and just, this one's really wobbly, woo. And worst comes to worst, I can always do a voiceover and just um, not even use this footage. You'll never see it. <laughs> well, you'll see my face and me talking, but it would be really sped up and that would work out just as well. So let me go ahead. I have my rinse well right next to me, which is what I'm rinsing my brush in. I'll bring this over for you. Um, yeah, I can't really get it too far into there. So I'm just going to keep bumping these rocks. And I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so we're on to step two, right? I went ahead and finished painting the rock both sides. I put in like maybe one extra layer, not even on the top. And I seriously used my heat gun to speed up the drying. And it dried like that. And the next thing I did was I just took an old piece of tissue paper. You could tell, you know, it's all crumpled. And I washi taped it to a piece of really thin printer paper, put in my printer upside down, and I printed this little guy. Um, the, the way I knew how big to make this, if you want to try this at home, is I took my rock and I measured it with my ruler. And I figured the largest I could go would be about two inches by approximately two inches. So I put my image in my Silhouette software studio, my Silhouette Studio software, and I looked at the little blocks that are on that software, and I just made sure that he fit into a two by two inch by two inch block. And then I just placed him, you know, on the mat where he would print out within this inner center, center here. Because I've never done this before, and I thought, oh, this would be really cool to share with you guys. 
attempted to do it um, with a, like a screen share, but I couldn't quite figure that out. So anyway, I just described it. It was super easy. It printed out just fine. And now I'm just going to cut this out and we're going to Mod Podge it onto the rock. So I fumbled with the um, camera just a little bit. I hope this is clearer for you. Since I already know this works, I, I could go and print other things on here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut him out just to save time because otherwise I'm going to, I can always just redo this, right? I can always do this again. Cut him out and take him off of that paper. As I said, I put this on printer paper and so there's the image on the tissue paper. Really cool, right? And he's going to go on the rock like right there. Oh my gosh, so cool. I think I could probably um, cut him down even further. I guess you could make the paper go all the way around the rock or whatever you wanted to do. Um, I don't want to have, I don't think that the lines will show. It shouldn't if we're mod podging over the top of this. So I think we can get as close to that image as we want and then just put it right over the top. So I'll bring the camera in and we'll get started on that. All right, one thing to remember is that if you're doing a print that has a lot of pink or red or just any color really in general, I think, give it plenty of time to dry. Um, mine's only been sitting here for a short while. I did hit, hit it with the heat gun just to see if that I could speed up that drying process. But if you're in a hurry, um, just know that some of your colors might run when you add the Mod Podge. So I'm using Mod Podge Gloss. It also comes in Mod Podge Matte, which is a duller finish, right? Um, I just, I'm going to go glossy. Let's try this out. I don't think we'll need a whole lot. So I only put a little bit on my brush and now I'm just going to start from the middle and, and brush it straight out to the sides. And my biggest um, issue is that I want the edges to blend in, right? So like I said, you're going to want to make sure that it gets wet enough that it blends right in with the white behind it so you can't see that. Looks like the more I go over it, the more it is likely that my color is bleeding. So there's um, one tip for you right there. The less you can go over it with the brush, the better off. And now I'm just going to pat down around the edges so that those go flat. Make sure that they are wet and flat. So like I said, you can make, you could have cut, I could have cut him around him so that you didn't see any of the edges and it wrapped around the rock, but I chose not to. And then I'm just going to rinse out my brush real quick here. Make sure I get all that glue out of it. So I can reuse it later. Put it in my drying rack. That's what I'm doing off camera. And give you a really good look at that. And then we're going to just let him dry. And apparently we can go over this afterwards with some color with um, some of our markers and stuff. We'll, so we'll try that after this guy gets a chance to dry. I'm super excited about this. I hope you guys will try it. All right, so <clears throat> the Mod Podge is on. It's glossy. And I did an extra layer. You can really see it shine now. One extra layer that you didn't see that I did off screen. And it looks a little bit... Um, scraped up because I touched the mat with it right there and there but that's gonna be the bottom so we won't see that very much and you can see a little spray of blue going on here I wanted to try this off camera just to see what would happen if it would rub off but this is an alcohol marker and all I did was just touch the tip of it to there and then make some little dots coming off like that so I'm gonna do that um, and make him look more like he's under the water with this really light blue. This is the Ohuhu brand marker and it is 182 frost blue. And so I'm just going to do some little dots. Hopefully, I believe you'll be able to see that pretty well from here. So this is a really fun way to add a little bit more color to your rock after you've got on the tissue paper and everything else. And I know that's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to go ahead and add another um, layer of that 
<clears throat> bring in maybe like an aqua blue here. This is 68 turquoise blue. So let's add a couple of dots of that within the same blue. Now you're really starting to see, it's really starting to come out. So this is new to me. This isn't something that I've done a lot of, you know, picking rocks and, and painting and coloring. <clears throat> so I'm learning along with you, but I think this is super fun. I think this is something that everyone can do, even your kids, because all you have to do is just print the image and get it put on there. It's pretty fabulous. And I even have um, some other little things that I'm going to add on there. I've got some little bubbles. Otherwise, you, can, you could paint or draw on bubbles. You could use acrylic paints over the top of this and then seal it again so that the paint doesn't come off. You could put um, write little sayings on the back of them. I've seen people do that, like, you are great or you are loved or, you know, happy birthday or whatever. It could go into your garden. It can go into your fake garden in your house. Um, you could do a lot of different stuff with it. So here are the couple of things I was thinking about doing. My friend Penny sent me this really cool rack. And this is like a flamingo set for Life at the Beach, but it's got this little sand dollar here. And I thought that might be fine, kind of fun to try to get on there. If I use stays on, that would work. And then this cute little, they're bubbles, and they look truly do look like bubbles. Um, it's, it's by Dress It Up. And look at these. Look how cute these are. Don't they look like real bubbles? So I thought if we could get a couple of these to glue on here on the flatter parts that that would be so cute and they're all like stuck together i wonder if we could get if i could get that to come apart oh i did yeah i got it to come apart so then i could put like two little ones here and maybe a big one on the bottom or maybe i want to put where do i want to put that stamp that's the first thing he is kind of big now i think i'm going to skip the stamp but i do love the bubbles so i'm going to get out my like glossy accent type of glue because I think this is the strongest. This is the best thing next to super glue. And just put a little bit of this on the bottom of our bubbles. And glue that on. I'm going to put one up here by his little head. And then maybe one over here. The little ones that I broke off of here. Look at that. So cute. I could put this great big bubble down here. Yeah, why don't we? Just got a little room there. Big bubble. These are adorable. Oh my gosh. Let me just push that back on because they bumped it by dropping it. I was so excited. There we go. I think that's going to be the end of it for me. I don't think I'm going to add anything more to this rock. Although you could, like I said, paint it and add sentiments and all that kind of stuff. But super cute. Really, really fun. So go on out and get yourself some rocks. And I can't wait to see you guys next video.